Classic Movie Fans, Rick Nigi here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Three Stooges. I'm so excited to talk about the boys again, and I thank all of you for being so supportive, for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my videos. It's free to do so, and it helps so, so much. Now, I am journeying along with all the Three Stooge shorts in chronological order, starting with number one, going all the way to 190. Today, we're going to be talking about what's the Matador. It's a great one, and I'll tell you all about it. I think you're going to absolutely love it, covering really interesting things that I think you will absolutely enjoy. Now, the short What's the Matador is the 62nd Three Stooge short produced by Columbia Pictures, and it was filmed August 14th through the 18th, 1941, and it was finally released April 23rd, 1942. Now let me know down in the comments below if you have seen this one and what is your favorite moment or scene from this episode. Now in this one, Mo, Larry, and Curly, they head to Mexico. Now what are they doing there? Well, they're debuting their comedy act at the bullfights. A run-in with a beautiful woman and her very violent and jealous husband leaves the Stooges on the run and it's comedy that's ensuing from the beginning of this short. Now when they finally get to the bull fights, the husband releases a real bull into the ring with the matador who happens to be Curly. It's such a great moment, such great moments during this episode. And this plot would later be recycled and used in the Lucy Desi comedy hour, the hour long I Love Lucy episode where Lucy goes to Mexico and she becomes a matador and accidentally realizes that the bull in there is a killer. Many of the scenes throughout this short were filmed on Columbia Ranch. Now they had many sets on there, including New York Street. There was a Kirby Bank building as well. They had a criminal courts building, a department store on the New York Street. You can see the appearance of that. Now the bullfighting ring itself was created by the studio inside of a very famous prison set they used in many stooge shorts. All they did, they put part of the circular outside of the ring on screen. They only built a little bit of it, but with the illusion of the camera, it looks like the whole circle is there, but you only see a little bit of it throughout the entire short. Now, what's the matador is of course a play on the phrase, what's the matter? What's the matter? And then you add, what's the matter door, right? Now it was the last short filmed in 1941 and it was remade in 1959 as Sappy Bull Fighters. They use um, some sort of minimal stock footage from the original. Now there's a scene that is probably one of my favorites. It really stands out. And this is when the Stooges have a frustrating conversation with an old Mexican man, a local there. And they ask him some directions because they're trying to find Dolores. Now there was a lengthy conversation involved and some Spanish directions. I'm gonna do a quick translation because they really use no captions and the man talks for so long and most people don't actually get the joke. So instead of playing it or anything, I'll just tell you what the guy says. These are the directions that he gives the Stooges. Of course, from Spanish, I'm translating into English. He says, go down the street three blocks, turn right, and go two more blocks, turn right. Cross the square and turn right. Walk down that street until you find an alley, but keep walking. Go down that street until you find another alley, but do not enter that alley. Turn right. There you will find the river. Do me a favor. Jump into the river and drown yourself. That's what he tells the Stooges. And I mean, it's pretty funny and risque at the time. I mean, Aogase, just like drown yourself. I mean, that's pretty gutsy. And I guess that's why it wasn't translated. But now that you know what he actually says, it's a little more fun in my opinion. Now to me, there is something very special, not, I would say not specially good, special in the term of something different is happening. There's a transition and that is all about Curly Howard. As we all know, Curly Howard died a premature death because of many different reasons. He had multiple strokes, a lot of health issues stemming from the way he ate, the way he drank, the way he lived his life, and we won't get too much into that. But a lot of people want to know or find out when we could see signs, little signs of his decline. Yes, also because of the multiple blows he received to his head, which it was all like a compilation of things, but the multiple blows they received to the head from filming a lot of these shorts, unfortunately. 
Now you can start to see the beginnings of his physical decline. You can see that the earliest signs of his pre-stroke personality, his change essentially are in this short. Now it's subtle, it's nothing that's really blatant, but if you watch a lot of it and really listen, his speech is a little bit slurred, it's a little bit slower. But he's still funny. I mean, he's still good with his timing. He's still the same curly. But again, it's a gradual just downfall of his personality and his quick wit that he always had. One of the little changes that you see is to his persona. And he also begins to facially age dramatically quickly. You can see some lines etched into his face. Um, and you can see them throughout this short. It's something that I noticed and I wanted just to be able to point it out to all of you. I'm continuing my journey through these two shorts. Let me know if you wanna see more of these because I'm gonna continue on. And um, I actually forgot to do this one and so I'm putting it in the place where it's supposed to go. But check it out, start with number one th through the whole list and when you stop watching, you can continue where you left off and go throughout and basically enjoy every single stooge short and all the behind the scenes information that I bring to you. We'll see y'all next time. Thank you for the support and don't forget, most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters, especially my diamond tier patrons. Harold P, Terry Y, Jerry D, Citizen Kane 359, Jennifer P, David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to join the Patreon community, check the link in the description below. Thank you.